like your style Put you in Chanel cause it's just perfect for your smile Girl I swear for you I'd run the world, I'd run the miles The way you look at me I think I'm going insane Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at number 27 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time. I did mention in a previous video that my, my lucky number is 27. It always has been, it always will be, and it was because my birthday was on the 27th month. Sorry, 27th day of the 11th month. So 27th of November is my birthday, 27's always been my lucky number. Merlin Olsen is apparently the 27th best player in NFL history, so I want to say Merlin, Mr. Olsen, you've got a big number to live up to, and I hope you do. But you are the 27th best player in history, so I'm assuming you will. He was a defensive tackle, and he comes in at number 27 on NFL Films, the top 100 NFL's greatest players list, produced in 2010. Let's get into it. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Oh. 27. Seems surreal seeing that number. When I was, when I was at number 100, 99, number 90, number 80, 50. Wow. Getting here. Getting to number 27 finally, wow, that's, that's, it's blowing my mind. I feel like I've done a lot of work in the last few days. I feel like I've done a lot of football watching in the last few days, but I'm still enjoying it. It's just that whenever I see a wide receiver or a running back, or even a quarterback, that gets me, that gets me excited, more so than, than a defensive tackle. I've, got, I've just got to be honest, it's just the truth. But Merlin Olsen, you have my lucky number, buddy. So show me something. I prepared for him um, probably more than any person I ever prepared for. Watch number 64, Jerry Kramer of the Packers. He hooks number 74, Merlin Olsen with his arm. He never let up, he never eased up, he never took it easy. He was just there constantly. For a guy that weighed close to 300 pounds, he had great agility and uh, great athletic instincts. He had a great head slap. You know, he had to put that right hand up against your ear hole on your helmet, so it was kind of half box and match and half a football. He had the ability to pull and move you pretty well, but he also had the ability to stay in place and take care of his position, his responsibility. So the combination of trying to get around a guy and still protect that territory is something he did very well. Merlin Olsen played in 15 seasons, made 14 Pro Bowls, and never missed a game. He was part of one of the most famous defensive lines no. in NFL history. 15 seasons and never missed a game. That means he played over 200 and fucking... 250 games, 220 games? Fearsome foursome. And while Deacon Jones, number 75, got most of the hype, it was Olsen who did much of the heavy lifting. Good on you, Olsen. Played the fearsome foursome, Merlin would kind of patrol the neighborhood, and Deke would do whatever he needed to do. And Deke had very limited responsibility because Merlin backed him up and took care of everything he didn't do. While Jones is an arrow, Olsen is the anchor. Taking on a triple team and stacking the play at his feet. Wow. Monarch of the middle ground. Well, these are old school After Rams. His retirement in 1976, he fashioned a TV career as an analyst and actor. Fittingly, most of the roles he played were quiet men of impeccable character. It's the first time I've seen that so far. Someone actually making a career in um, TV. Separate the game on the field. From not, not as an analyst, but as an actual actor. The person off the field. Yeah, I'm not a violent person by nature. I really detest violence in many ways. But my job requires that I do certain things, and I made some commitments to doing that job as well as I possibly could. Merlin was not only a complete ball player, he was 
was a pretty complete human being. Merlin was bright and Phi Beta Kappa, a master's degree in economics, just had a great heart and a great motor and a great mind and a great work ethic. Uh, he just never stopped. Good on you, Merlin. What an absolute legend. I probably should have worn, um, hang on. I probably should have worn this hat, actually. This hat was sent to me by my man Robert Davis. It's still got a tag on. It's from the 1990s, and it's got Jack Youngblood's signature on it. Would you believe? Amazing. I should probably keep this hat here in case some, uh, some more Rams players come on. So that was Merlin Olsen, number 27 on the list. I want to say have a fantastic day everyone. If you have liked this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.